for today's video we have two figs to try out today we've got the uh, Mavarasica right here in this tree and we have the Grantham's Royal right here on this tree I'm excited to uh, to try these two out these are new to me so uh, it'd be exciting to try these out for the first time uh, I'll see you in a little bit. I have to say that I, I've been pretty happy about having a greenhouse in the backyard. Um, it's definitely changed the game up for me in terms of getting figs to ripen sooner than later. For today, we actually have a couple of, uh, maybe even three actually. Well, this one is, ooh. This is a VDB. And well, this is a VDB that's been wrecked on the tree. Uh, we'll let this one go a little bit too long and the slugs look like they've found it. So we've tried VDB, we'll let that one go. It's way past uh, edible, unfortunately. So let's go into the okay, greenhouse. Okay, so check out this tree right here. The one in the middle of the white pond is the Mavrasica. And uh, we've got a right Breba on it, right there. So we're gonna pick this guy, as well as the Grantham's Royale, or Grantham's Royal, off of this tree. They're both in the uh, Misco self-watering pots, which I love very much. Um, let's pick them and try them out. Okay, Mavrasica leaf. Guy off. Oh, weird. Look at that. Little mutant fig growth right there on the Mavrasica. Kind of cool. And let's get these other guys. Okay. So these little ones here looks like they've almost been aborted by the tree because they don't have the size and girth of this one over here. And it's such a pretty fig. Look at the striping on that. Isn't that beautiful? Kind of reminds me of one of those striped figs. Um, there's so many out there right now, but the thing about the um, Grantham Royal is it is a San Pedro, like a like a Desert King. I'm gonna pick all of these off. Ooh, look at that! What is there a bug on here? Uh oh, where'd this beetle come from? Sorry, buddy. So the beetle must have been sucking the life out of these smaller ones. Anyhow, we'll figure out what kind of beetle that is later. There it is, Grantham Royal. So nice. I've been waiting a long time for this. I've had these, uh, Two trees actually and this is the only one that produced this year uh last couple years it has not produced for me so i'm pretty excited to finally get a chance to eat them bribas you can see that the grantham's royale puts out main crop as well but these are never going to ripen so no use waiting for them okay guys let's uh get these on the platter okay so off of this tree i, I was able to pull off four kind of really wheel weird looking uh, wilted brebas. I, I, I cut one open earlier so there's only three left here but there's one good one here. It is a really beautiful looking fig. I mean it has the shape of kind of an LSU gold. Kind of a more squat, flattened shape. Kind of unlike most brebas where they have an elongated shape. Now the eye on these uh, Grantham's Royal is, is really big. Um, you would think it would have some splitting issues, and it, and it did earlier this year on one of the uh, one of the fruit. Now, I've read off of the forums that the uh, Grantham's Royale is supposed to be a very, very tasty fig, even better so than Desert King. Um, 
you know, this is uh, from Polly on the forums. He's from Vancouver. He, I kind of looked at him as far as some of the uh, varieties that would do well here in the Pacific Northwest because he has a good collection and, uh, you know, he has the same climate that I do. So, um, I hope he's right because it, it does look like a very delicious fig. Anyhow, without wasting too much time talking, let's dig into this and cut into these figs. Uh, let's start with these little guys right here. I mean, they look ugly as hell, but I'm pretty sure they're still somewhat edible. So let's take a look at these little figs. I mean, they're, they're weird. It's almost like the fig wanted to abort them, but it didn't. It kept them on the tree. And uh, they're still, you know, the right color and whatnot, but very dry and very uh, small compared to the bigger guy right here. These aren't bad looking. Okay, so that's, uh, these are the little Brebas that are uh, kind of ugly and shriveled on the tree. This one looks a little bit past prime, but these two look like they're somewhat edible. And it's hard to let any kind of fig go without even, you know, trying it. And so um, I do want to give this a taste. But after we cut open this big guy and um, see what he looks like, let's actually let's weigh this big Grantham's Royale. Uh, let's do the weight test. I mean, it feels hefty. It feels at least 54 maybe grams. Oh, even bigger than that. I was way off today. This is 77.2. It's a good sized fig. Nice Breba. Let's cut it open. I'm really excited actually. Really excited about cutting into this fig. I've been waiting for this thing for the last couple of years and um, it's aborted its fruit on me for the last couple of years. But this year I get to try it out. Look how beautiful that is. That is gorgeous. That looks just glorious. I'm so excited you don't even know. I definitely want to eat this now. So uh, let's give it a try. Okay, you guys. Grantham's Royale Breba. This is my first Breba off of this tree. Isn't that beautiful? It looks like a heart almost. Well, hopefully I fall in love with this fig and if it's good, other folks will as well. Hmm. Wow, interesting. There's a uh, lot of complex flavors in here. First bite, it was a little bit watery, but uh, I just account that as being juicy. Uh, there's a slight watermelon taste to it and uh, more of a uh, melon tone versus any type of berry tone. It is good. It is a good fig. Uh, there's a little bit of seed crunch. And then the aftertaste, I guess it's the skin. There's a little bit of a spice to it. I mean, not like not like anything major that you would pick up, but there's a little bit of, of that on the tail end uh, of, of the bite. It is a great fig. Different from Desert King for sure. Um, and I would say it would it'd be a notch higher than Desert King. Maybe if it was in ground, it could probably get a little bit sweeter. It's not super sweet, but it is a very good fig. Okay, let's dare to adventure and try out these little guys and see if they're, they're good. <laughs> I checked and there's no bugs or worms or anything in here. Wow. That's actually pretty good. I like these almost as much as the the big fruit. The skin is not edible. It's kind of leathery. Hmm. Wow. These little guys are actually very good. A little bit sweeter, and there's kind of 
kind of a chewiness to them that uh, I really, really like. So if you see your Grantham's Royale with these little tiny smaller guys on it, don't throw them away. Try it out, it's actually pretty okay, good. Okay, so let's start here with the uh, Mavrasica fig. And the Mavrasica, from what I've read, uh, is a Greek fig that was brought over from the island of Chios. I believe it was Bass who discovered it uh, from a lady, a Greek lady, that uh, brought it over. For, and it, it's been growing for a long time in her yard. It's uh, unprotected, grown unprotected in the, in the Pennsylvania area. So it can handle some cold. This might be a good candidate for any of you folks that are thinking about uh, getting a cold hardy variety here. It's supposed to be a black fig, but this is a little bit more purplish. What you're looking at here is a Breba. Nice tight eye. So you're not going to get any kind of splitting issue with this guy. Um, looks to be, I don't know, pretty small in the teens as far as grams. But uh, we'll wait to get the official count and then we'll see how this one will taste. Okay, time for the Mavrasica. This one feels really light, probably 17. No, not even that. I'm way off today. So it is 12 grams. 12.5 grams. Let's uh, cut this open. Okay, so let's cut this guy, Mavrasica. After it's been cut in two, this is a uh, this is a Breba. The color on this is just amazing. Super bright red, kind of a violet tinge to it. It looks very small, so I don't know sure how big of a bite I can get out of this here. Um, and the syconium is uh, quite thick around it. I don't know if it's because of the condition it was growing in or just, just how it looks, but uh, let's give it a try. Okay, this is the Mavrasica. Mm. I don't know if I love it. It's pretty good. Again, it's not super sweet. It has kind of a marshmallowy consistency because of how thick that syconium is around here. With a hint of jamminess to it. It's a pretty good fig. I um, wouldn't say it's one of my favorites, but... Uh, I'd like to see how it would grow maybe in the ground. Figs might develop more flavor. Anyhow, so this is Mavrasica, Grantham's Royale. Look at the size difference here. I mean, this is why I like big figs, right? You get multiple bites off of one fig. Anyhow, thanks for watching. You guys, I'll list some more descriptive uh, details on these two figs as much as I can on my blog as well, so don't forget to join me there. Thanks for watching. Bye.